New BattleBots merch photos. BuggleBots Series 2 gets its robots and it's the end of Sheffield Roboteer Society vs. Robo Dojo. all this week in Robot Combat. news time <laughs> okay yes it is yes we start today with some news that we have some new photos coming out of BattleBots especially if you're a supporter this wonderful shot was given out to all of the public and it's of Quantum biting down on Blacksmith with its blazing hammer creating a lovely rainbow in the sky it's a fantastic photo and there's plenty more where that came from if you're a supporter of BattleBots the other photo is of Kraken taking a bite at Ribot Becoming a supporter is easy, it just takes a little bit of money per month and then you get some exclusive content, so go and check that out. Hashtag not spawn, please don't sue me. Yes, wonderful, good, right, go on then. While BattleBots was filming, they had on display some of the toys that will be available later in the year, including the new Vex Endgame and Vex Warhead, which I had previously been told about but hadn't seen, and also Team Bite Force got to drive their new Vex RC thing. Their Vex RC Bite Force. It looks awesome and will be available later this year. Hexbug, meanwhile, have put up a video on their website of some of the new BattleBots toys coming out, including the new Hexbug customizable robots with the new Son of Woyachi style spinner and tracked modular bit, the new Hexbug rivals Bite Force and Blacksmith, and Push Strike. Ah, oh, we love Push Strike, don't we? We now move to BuggleBot Series 2 who have emailed out to the, all the applicants for BuggleBots 2019, who will be challenging K2 for the title. Well, it was a really tough selection process, apparently, with so many brilliant applications. We want you to know we appreciate all the effort put into every one of them, says BuggleBots. So far, we know that K2 will be coming back, as confirmed by BuggleBots, and obviously because they're the champions. Snappy will also be returning, alongside some other fan favourites, including Claws 2, and the very popular Sore Loser from Alex Mordew of Team Firestorm fame. Zero Gravitas this series will be a reserve, which is some interesting news. Now, with the return of Extreme Robots in just a few weeks, they've been working on something new. Yes, they've had Ripper in the past and ST Ripper and Cyclone 360, but they're working on a new bar spinner titled Galactus. This wonderful looking bot will be coming soon to live events we turn now to the last episode in the series or at least the final of Sheffield Roboteer Society versus Robo Dojo this is a very close battle and we shall see who will win it's a very good episode so go and check it out over on the Orcs Nerd YouTube channel lastly the heavyweight robot Bullfrog has found a new home with me at my school that I work at so that's cool, we own a robot and we're hoping to bring Bullfrog to Extreme Robots in Colchester this year. There's a bit of work that needs doing to it, a new paint job and something special for the front end, but more information on that as it comes and as we do it. We're looking forward to seeing everybody later this year when we fight live. Code green, code green, code green, code green, code green. That'll be all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to the channel if you're new and tell me all your thoughts and theories about BattleBots and toys and all sorts. BuggleBots, maybe? Who knows? We own Bullfrog. And then I watched Avengers Endgame and now I have to hide in the woods so that nobody finds out the spoilers. Okay, bye.